hi guys this is Talia welcome back to my channel today I am coming with a fluff stove even though it's not stitching I have not stitched at all since the end of January I've been doing other stuff though I've been sewing and doing other stuff but I, hopefully I'll get back to stitching this week um so but I still want to do this because it's been almost three weeks and also i have a whole bunch of things that i have been purchased and stuff that i want to get away so i have uh here and there a haul and then we have a big tumu temu um haul is all sewing and stuff so um let's do, go with um the stuff that i have here and then we work so that's gonna be the last the last one so the first thing that i was looking at and uh, five below it was this um easel it is 15.7 by 11.8 inches which is good i don't have a dedicated table that i could i don't have a space to put a dedicated table for um diamond painting i want to start doing my diamond paintings and this is it's good enough to my diamond paintings are not big big i only got a few that are big uh but the majority of them they are small enough that i could put here i could put the i um the light in here and then with clips use and hold it and i could do this downstairs in my um dining room table or if i could work here but most likely i've been doing it downstairs um not up here so I was looking for this for five dollars the ones that are because i want to look i went to look for one at michael and they are pricey even though it's bigger so i saw this in a in a facebook ad about five below because i follow the, the store and my store didn't have it so i had to order it online and then go pick it up and and warren which is like 25 minutes from here so that's the first thing that i got then i went to dollar tree like always and i found these clips that i think they're gonna be good to hold the the fabric to the hoop so i only bought a pack to see if it works if it, if it works i will get a few more because they are only a dollar 25 and you get six so i think they will work so i ordered that and then i found this buttercup um I have one already in my, but I bought it like that. It has a sunflower for fall, which I still have not taken out. Um, so I thought that was good to do some finishes for my kitchen. So I bought four of them. I think that's enough. So that's what I got from Dollar Tree. I'm trying not to buy much. So that's for Dollar Tree. Then I did an order for uh, Amazon and I bought a hundred zippers and then I, and the zippers are downstairs because I already used them for the bags. And then I bought this pack of, what is it? Three, six, nine, 12 bias tape. So the half inch one. So I have a variety of colors. So that's for my sewing I, all i'm buying now is just stacking up and stuff that i don't have for sewing because i mean i'm doing a lot of project bags so that was from amazon it was this and a hundred um zippers but the zippers are downstairs i received my second cross stitch magazine there are a few projects here that i would like to do like i like this coffee first and everything else could wait and there's a few projects here that i want to do this year i went um physical instead of digitally but you still i still have access to the digital one so but it's a good problem the one from january the february this is the this is the april one that i received the gen the february one i received it to be honest i don't know where the heck it is it's somewhere in this mess this room, this room is still a mess it's, it's like i have put a stop because i i gotta really think think and um get rid of stuff i'm so attached to it but then again i have so much that i had to get rid of stuff and it, it's gonna happen soon later it's gonna happen so anyway i received my january beach stitch me fabric of the month and um 
silk of the month. I signed up to that. And the color is beautiful. So um, the color, the fabric is called Winter Mist. Sorry for the crinkle bars. And I got to put here that it's January because I like to keep track when it was. January 23, in case I don't use it right away. But it's this beautiful blue. Uh, all I get is opalescent. So I, beautiful, beautiful. And you're getting true color. Beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet. And then I got the beach, uh, the silk of the month. I get two skin of 25 yards. So, um, and this one, they match that fabric. Ah, uh, so we got this beautiful one. It's called a little classy and look how good it looks with this fabric. So I got to find something that is monochromatic and I could use it for this. Look how beautiful it is. And then the other one that I received is called Purple Purple Brittle Girl, which is nothing purple in it. It also look good with this fabric. So this is a, uh, a thing that I could keep as a set and use it together. So uh, let me put here January 23 and January 23. So that is that. It's beautiful. I, I love her silk and it's, it, her silk is good. I'm using it. I'm using it, I think, in two projects and it's good. So this is this. So that was my beast stitch. Wait, I gotta put it inside so it won't get lost. My beast stitch me January fabric and silk of the month. So that was that. I received this little pin. It was a gift from a subscriber and friend, Christine. She sent it directly to me. Uh, it has to be you, Christine, because we talk about it. And I look in my AliExpress and never ordered this. So I remember you told me you wanted to send me a little something. And I think this was it. So uh, she is so adorable. And I am going to convert her in a needle minder. And I do have a pattern that I bought that I show in my last cross stitch that the girl has a whole bowl of yarns in her head. So this is going to be a needle minder for when I do that pattern. So that is that. I bought a whole bunch of things for needle minder. So that is that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I love it. Um, then from Etsy Fabric Flair, I bought, uh, remember that when I show this pattern that is supposed to i supposed to start it in my 55 or 55 i said that i have seen a fabric that has like the the beehive the hectagons whatever it is so i ordered it in uh in etsy but it's by fabric flare uh it's very um suiting it so you could see that and then i bought the opalescent one so i can't wait to stay um I am going to start it soon. Um, all I had to buy extra is the Kranich and the Whisper Gallery because the beads is, is from Stash and everything else is DMC that, that I have or CSC. But I wanted this fabric for it, so I went and bought it. Beautiful. So this one is ready to start. It's going to be one of the stars this week. So that for this fabric, so I got that. Um, then from some girl and YouTube and, and Facebook, I hope I bought a whole bunch of flat back acrylic to make um, needle minders. So I bought the Hocus Pocus girl because I have a pattern coming up from the um, tapestry market. Um, they mailed it, but I have not received it. As soon as I receive it, I'll say it's, it was, I say 10, but I bought eight, eight patterns. So one of them is the Hocus Pocus, uh, sisters. I don't know the name. I only saw that movie once, but I liked it. So I bought that one to make a needle minder. They are flat and I just received my, my, um, my magnet. So, and then I bought this one that says Hocus Pocus. 
I bought this one, the Messy Bun. I love that girl. Straight out of timeout. Uh, this cute little girl with the coffee. Mickey with Rebutan. A Pamingo, of course. That's going to put it in my Flamingo stocking. Uh, this uh, little Miss Sassy Pants. I thought that was cute. And they were 25 cents each. So that was cute. My poopy rainbow thing. That's my favorite emoji. I thought he was so adorable. So I bought that. Full house, because who was not a fan of full house? Um, Starbucks coffee. Let us know. Krispy Kreme, my favorite donuts. I love that. And then this Hey Girl. This reminds me of a stamp from Mommy Lay that I used to have for, for planning. So I got that. And then I got this cute girl. So I got those for 25 cents each. So I have a whole bunch new magnets coming um new needle minders coming up so that is that so let's put it here i don't need a bag then for another facebook ad and because you know they get you with those facebook ad um from Mad madame sue i saw this video of this um it's a template with a magnetic sim um guy because this girl dahlia she cannot sew straight for shit i can't i can't so maybe this will help me so this is like the 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 seam guy ruler that you want to achieve so you put it there right you put the needle where it was and then you put this magnet thing to your magnet where the bobbin goes and this allow you to give you a straight seam let's hope because I can't so straight for nothing, not even to save my life. So that was a little Facebook um, ad, and we'll see how it works. I will try it today because I'm going to finish um, sewing today. So then I could go back to my cross stitch. Um, the other thing that I got, I got the other two patterns that I was waiting from AliExpress. So this is the, the companion of the other one. It's still small. Sorry for the crinkle. But you know what? I'm like it now that I'm small. I have, I have, uh, I think it will be good because this girl right here is going tiny. I've been doing research when I retire, of course. I still got eight years. I want to do early retirement at 62. So I've been researching and watching a lot of videos. And yes, I could go tiny and have a scrap room. Not as big as this and not so much shit like I have right now. You have to pick and choose what you take. But I, it's doable. And at 62, I'll be purchasing my tiny home with my, my retirement funds because I'm not made out of money. So whatever I have in retirement which will be enough to purchase the tiny house so that's the plan so i'm looking at this now now the smaller the things the better because i won't have space for big things so this is cute so i have two of them and it doesn't matter whatever i do i could make a lot of cushions with my cross stitch so i'm not gonna get rid of uh, on my cross stitch but i will downsize the scrapbooking big time so yeah, so that's that's what I am researching places and um, states they have uh, because I would like to be in a tiny house and a tiny home community, which they are all over nationwide. So I just gotta pick which location I would like to be, and which will be Florida if I could find a, a community in Florida and or Texas. I'm trying to go where it's hot. I'm done with the cold. I'm done with this uh, snow. Uh, so I got eight more years, which go like this in a blink of an eye to, pre to prep for it. So I'm happy with that. The other one that I got is this one. Did it, this is a, of course, you could tell this is a Chatelain um, dupe. I bought an original one, which are very pricey, just the pattern and uh, getting it 
together is very pricey too so i saw this one in aliexpress and this is the media 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 wall something the media wall something so i bought it it's small which i'm happy now i'm happy with the small pieces so it's not big which the one i'm gonna do i ain't gonna see how i could do it this big um this is a 18 count i think let me see but the big one that i'm gonna do the paris one i am gonna see if i could do it small this is 14 count really this look more like an 18 count but it says 14 count so it's not big so i like it i am gonna start this soon i have time to finish it so uh, it's pretty, it brings everything I need. So now I gotta figure it out how the Paris one could be this size. So I gotta mess shoot this fabric and then final count that I could do the Paris one just as this side. So it will be easy to manage into um, frame. And then all the beads, of course, it brings every single thing. The And then the grid, um grid these are good i use this and they come out but right now i'm using my um heat eraser and i bought a whole, I, I bought a few from um temu we're gonna see that haul later and then other colors which is very colors very pretty colors Ooh, they long so yeah so that is my medieval mandala i think it's called and chatterline um aliexpress i don't think it had a name so yeah so i'm gonna have the two chatterlane one fake one original and i will have them somewhere in my tiny homes because what you what i see a lot in the tiny homes is that they have too many windows i'm a chicken i'm a scary chicken person i don't like first floors because i think people are looking to me through the window i had to have my windows covered i'm very scary so in my design it's not going to have that many windows so i will have more wall space than windows because i could go with the like the basement window all the way up so the light could go in but maybe a few big ones not too many i don't like windows i don't like mirrors i am um, i have a mirror of course in my bathroom and and I have one of those long behind the door mirrors, which I have it turn it backside. I don't have mirrors in my room. I don't like mirrors. I don't like mirrors and I don't like too many windows because I think people are looking at me. So yeah, so that is that. So I was happy for this one. I like it. I can't wait to start it. So it's gonna be, uh, I have made changes on my 55 stars as I am buying stuff so i'm changing what i have previously take out that i wanted to work on those probably but i did say they're subject to change so it's going to be a lot of changes because i'm going to start this one i'm going to start so it's, it's few changes so those are the two kits that i received um then i bought a whole bunch of patterns and downloaded a whole bunch of patterns let me drink a little bit of soda So the first one that I bought in Etsy is this. It's a yellow truck. I like my kitchen yellow. So this is gonna be in my kitchen. Uh, it, it's for 14 count, but now I'm gonna start doing things smaller. So I could have space for it. Prepping for, you know, I'm tired of having big houses. And when I retire, I don't want to be taking care of houses. I just want to enjoy my life and travel what I haven't been able to travel because I always working. So I want a tiny place. And I always been in love with them since they came out years ago. And so I always looking into it. But when you have a family, you can't, right? But once I retire, so hopefully everybody has their own place and I could retire me and Rocky if Rocky's still in this earth. If not, another doggy. So that was that. I bought that in Etsy. I don't remember the name, but it's so cute. It's my two favorite thing, the vintage truck and some flowers. 
I bought this one for the Caterpillar Cross Stitch a website. It's, it's a create, it says create, but it's all with tools and art supplies and stuff like that. Very good for a cross room. And I mean, I'm in love with Baby Yoda. I never seen the movie. Never, I have never in my life seen any Star Trek movie. I don't know nothing about this movie, but he's adorable. I love him. And I bought this one, no coffee, no forcey. And I will put, I will try to stitch this that I could fit, so I could find that I could put it here. This is for a hook, for our hook. But then I will put it in one of these things, either in the outside or the inside. And I will put it right now where my coffee, um, coffee, coffee maker is. And I thought that was cute. It doesn't match my 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 kitchen decoration at all but i don't care he's cute no coffee no forcey so he's so adorable so i got that one and that one was from etsy and all i paid was two dollars and this one i think i paid three dollars for it from etsy and this one from caterpillar cross stitch it was nine dollars and then i downloaded a whole bunch from that daily cross stitch which i paid the ten dollars so now all patterns for me are free so I downloaded a whole bunch for spring to see if I make them. So I bought, I made, I made little pillows. So I bought this, uh, I downloaded this one, Happy Spring. All things spring. This one. It's springtime. Spring is here. Then I thought he was cute. He remind me of one of those Brenda Gervais um, patterns that she had. She had a bunny that looked like him. But this one was free to me. And if you want, if you want to buy it, it's only a dollar. If you know, if you don't pay the 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 one time fee to get all the things free, which is worth it for little. If you want to do a lot of littles, so Happy Easter. They have thousands of thousands of thousands of patterns so i have patterns they are for everything i want i got this one's for easter i downloaded maybe i'll make them maybe one now who knows but they my stash the bunny the cheek she's so cute i like this one happy easter i mean i don't have little kids easter is not a big thing for me but I do have a lot of Ray Dawn decorations for it. So, and then I got this one, which is so cute. Then this is for uh, Jeanette Douglas. Um, this is the one for this year. It's a, it's a free thing for this year. I don't know. I just got that one. And then from that same website, I found this one where it says, home is where you park it, which could be a companion of this one that I got from Hobby Lobby, Happy Camper. So this one says, home is where we park it, but I am going to do we because there's no we in mine. There's no we, it's I. So is home is where I park it. So I downloaded some alphabet so then I could... Even though I have an I here, so it's gonna say home is where I, because it's not, it's no we and my and my thing is no we is I park it. So I thought that was cute. Of course, she's gonna be a pink cottage. So that is that. And then I'm gonna start this one soon. I mean, I think this is the first. This is like the second. This is the second pattern that I bought from Heaven on Earth Design. The first pattern that I bought is Holly. She is beautiful. She is huge. That's why I had not done her. Because she is huge. But she is beautiful. It's a lady with flowers. Beautiful lady. Her name is Holly. It's still um, Heaven on Earth Design. So I think the first two patterns when I did my first order was Holly and it was this one because I always say I'm a gypsy at heart, right? Always because I feel, even my kids tell me, um, I was talking to my son, um, about the tiny home situation and he's like, mom, 
I swear you were a gypsy and another and you're all alive. I said, you know how I think I was because I, I, so I had purchased this because it's always attract me. I would be fun if I could have the builder, the builder make it like a, this, the front. That's something that I am going to talk to the builder. Again, we, I still got eight years to, pr to prep for that. But it's a, it's a, I've been, like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos and I'm watching a lot of videos of the builders and it's a, it's a long process. It's not something that you say, okay, I want a tiny house today and tomorrow you have it. It is a long process. It's a lot of research you got to do. You got to find where you're going to park it before you buy it. And a lot of, um, you got to have, you know, depend on the city or the state that you planning to move. You got to have a lot of um how you call it um permits and a whole bunch of things so i am going to start this one um with the aim to finish it when i buy my 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 tiny home so it's going to be a, uh, uh so this is going to be that i'm going to start it she is gorgeous i love it and you see it's her with her little dog well it's not a little dog so i love it this so i gotta find i think they bought the one i bought is a mini there's another one that is called the firefly this one is called i don't gypsy uh let me see let me see if i can find it quick gypsy heaven on earth So there's another one that it, um this one is so mini and it looks good but there's another one that is mask color that it looks beautiful and it's called gypsy firefly i think it is um let me see the gypsy firefly um it, it's 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 the same it's the same at, as this one let me see no it's not it's not the same it's a little different it's a it's a different girl with a different dog but she's sitting in her in her gypsy wagon too so i don't know if i should buy that one and do the mask color because the mask color you could see is so good i mean it's perfect so but i got this one in my in my stash which this one is called let me see oh my account oh my god i bought this one in 20 2020 that was the first time no that wasn't it uh no it's not in my account so um let's see yeah it should be in my account um 2018 i think i was okay so yeah i bought this in 2018 that's where the first time i bought it and this one is a cute stitch and it's called wanderlust 2 So, um, yeah, so 2018, it's been in my stash forever. I've been wanting to do it, so now I have a reason and a motivation to do it. So I am going to start this one soon. Uh, I'm sure that I'm going to start it. Uh, I got to see if I have a 25 count somewhere or 28 count and do it in a 28 count so it could be small enough. So I had to go and get the... The floss because my heavens i like to have my own floss i mean i have a lot i have, I have a, a few sets of csc which i think i am gonna um do it from there and then if i need to buy more i order another set so these are all the patterns that i had downloaded and this one is being mastered since 2018 so it's time to use it so now let me share with you guys the what i've been sewing which is not that much because i've been sick i have a migraine for four days guys i thought i was gonna die and i didn't go to the hospital because i hate hospitals 
So four days I had a migraine. It was a migraine from hell. It was last weekend, which I was planning to do the whip go weekend. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I was with a migraine. It was it was ridiculous. But so and then I've been lazy and just I've been, you know, again, this is a hobby. This is not a race. I'm not forcing myself to do it if I don't feel like doing it. I have the rest of my life to finish it. Some of them are not, never going to be displayed. Some of them will be displayed. It's, it's a hobby. It's a hobby, something that I enjoy the process of it. So it gets done when it gets done. I stitch when I feel like stitching. So I don't know if I showed you this guy last time. So this is one of the... Um, yeah, I think I did it. I told you that, the, that I did the fabric. It's not oriented. So, yeah, so this is one of the carpets that I've been doing, and I'm going to do another one for now for that gypsy. And this is using the, uh, this is the pattern that I have here. I got to move it here. I haven't moved the, the flosses. And they, I don't bobbin it. The way that I use my bobbins is I show you real quick. I hate bobbinated. It looks here like it's bobbinated, but it's not. It's not all I gotta do is just unroll it while I'm working. And this is how I use it. So because I like to pull from here. So I just put my, th my thread like that and just wrap it around to put it in this. And it's, it's faster than bobbinated and then it's easier to use. So that's another way. I was looking into getting the fasten pip chips, but that's a very expensive um, system. It's three hundred dollars, which I don't think I know. I like the way I have my threads organized. Just because everybody's getting it, I get the urge to get it. But I gotta stop that. I don't need it. Um, the way that I store it, maybe down in the future, I could get it, but for now I don't need it. So yeah, so I do the I did this carpet. I did this out of my head. And what I use is these things. You get this uh, uh Joanne. They are to be put in a binders. If you do the binder method for projects, it's to put it in a binder. But I was not putting it in a binder, I was putting it just like this in my heads in the bag. But then I started seeing the ladies that do the Spain that do this type of thing. But as I, I went the easy way. I rather buy these things. This and you get you get five, I think. You get three sheets, which is you get you get three three by three by, um, pages. The whole sixty. I gotta move this. All right. So you get three sheets, three dividers, and each page holds 20. So you could use this one for a big project, like a head, 60, a head is 89 colors. So you could put two of them or four of them together when it's for a head. So I have here 60 and this heaven on earth is 89 colors. So I will have to change this one, leave, uh, move, make another one with two more, with five instead of three and they are very inexpensive they are five dollars and sometimes you get it for 40 percent sometimes with the sewing stuff and the thing is on sale in joanne you get it for i most of the time get it every time i go if it's on sale i get it and if it's not on sale i still get it um every time i go i grab whatever they have there i went last week they only had two so i bought them and it's the easy route of doing um doing this because it's all i gotta do is the outside frame and then sew it together all this is sewed together i sew through the plastic and um this one i i when i did it i forgot the the thing so when i do the next one i gotta sew the latch uh so i have to improvise again this is for me i don't care the 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 sewing is not straight that you could see that's why i bought this to see if it helps me nothing is straight i don't care it's for me it's for my own use so that's that 
I know last time I showed you, when I showed you that one, I showed you that I was working on this one. I finished it. This one is using Tula, um, Tula Pink um, fabric again. Nothing is straight. It's a mess, but I don't care. This one has three snaps to open it. So when you open it, you have a packet here. And then this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 16 16 and 16 is 32 this one holds 72 so i might move i'm a, i might use this one for them for this one for this one i might use that one for this one so this one open like this it's a book so you have the packet here to put the pattern or to put the fabric then you have this one again i'm um I order a whole bunch of these things. So that then you open it, it has the same amount. I didn't have the bias tape that you're supposed to put in the thing to see it, but it's fine. I mean, this is for me. And then you got more in the back. And then over here, I have, let me close it like that. So on this side, I have a packet here, which is big. And then I have another packet here and then this one open and it has the felt there that it could hold if you're doing blending colors or needles or i could put my beady needles here so they don't get lost and stuff like that so yeah i did this one this one took me a whole time and this is out of my head i watch videos and then i combine but this one took me a long time and it's big it is it is 13 it is 13 inches by 11 and 1 fourth so it's 13 inches long by 11 and 1 fourth wide so i loved it it took me a minute but i'm gonna still do a few more um of this ones because i would like to keep the ones with my like my aliexpress kits and stuff like that i am going to move them to this type of even though they come in that thing but like it's just it's, it's it's not something that i'm doing to finish fast um like my gypsy queen thread is all messed up i mean it's getting so bad that thread so i gotta change uh, because it, again, this is things that I'm doing for whenever I'm finished them. And then, um, this bags, I've been following a tutorial by, what's her name? Her name is, I gotta give credit where credit is due, right? Um, and this is the most easiest. It is, the hardest part is cutting the fabric. But what I did is I one day I cut like seven fabric, seven bags. I cut them, I ironed the, the, the interface in it and I had them cut and then I am sewing them as I go. So take a day, cut as many as you can that day and then you sew them every day you sew some. But like I was sick, I wasn't sewing every day either. So her name is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Ann Kens. So can stitch. She has lots of tutorials, free tutorials. She has so many quick and easy tutorials. I'm telling you, this bag takes 25 minutes to do. So the first one that I did, well, the first one that I did was this one. And this is using, this is a Dollar Tree uh, fabric. You know, those little rolls that is like, it's less than a fat quarter. I'm looking to see if I have one here, but I don't. But I showed them in my in my thing. So this is using that, two of them. I use one for the front and then I use one from the back. From the inside, again, I don't do I don't do fancy. So all I have is a beige. And you know what I get, did this week last weekend? I went to the thrift shops. Like um Goodwill. And I bought bed sheets, 
bed sheets. I came home and washed them, of course, even though that's, again, but that's not something I'm going to put on me. So I bought solid, I will show you in one of these songs when I this. But this is just beige fabric that I bought at Walmart. I bought like, I think it was like five yards for very cheap. So I bought that. So that is that and the zippers. Some zippers are from AliExpress. This one was for AliExpress. And the rest was the new ones that I got from Amazon. So yeah, and it's big enough. It will fit, I think it is 13. Uh, let's see. It is It is 13. The, the thing is 13 by 11 and... 13 by 11 and 1 4. So, one of these kits fits perfect in there. So, it's roomy enough. Look, this one is bulky. It fits there perfect. And then, I love this bag. I am in love with this bag. It's so easy to make. And I have so much fabric that I'm going to be doing. This is the style the, and the carpets that I'm going to be doing. Um, for now, because it's so quick. It's so easy. It's easier than the, the ones that I make. So I got this one. That was for Dollar Tree fabric. Two, fabric, two of those, those little rolls um, make your bag and a zipper. And you need fabric for inside. This is another one for Dollar Tree. The rolls for Dollar Tree. I use the reminder of that of this fabric which is one of the dollar tree too and the zipper was the one from amazon and this one is the one that i bought i bought yellow a yellow um bed sheet and for i think it was a dollar something but i got this big i think it was like a queen side one so i have a lot of fabric for that so again nobody sees this this is this is something that i'm not gonna put on me or nothing so and then i use that remind me i use every little piece so i just put that one there which doesn't matter nobody sees that so that is that one again that was dollar tree fabric those little rolls from dollar tree i love them every time i go i get a few and uh, this is just fabric that i had in my stash i don't uh that i bought at dollar tree or whatever i mean um michael's or whatever again this is just beige fabric that i have i don't put pretty fabric in this because nobody see this this one I did it the whole um the whole fabric. The zipper is a little crooked again. It's me, I don't care. So that's that. And then of course <laughs> I gotta have this cutie. He was so cute. And that fabric was 70% off at Joanne. So I think I bought half a yard for $1.64. And he was so cute. So I had to do it. And then beige fabric inside so those are the fabric the i still got this one the zipper is terrible but again who cares who sees it nobody this is just for my own use for me they are perfect for me they are beautiful and i'm gonna do some zipper pulls i bought a whole bunch of team in tamu to do zipper pulls and all that stuff so that's what i've been doing i will get to the cross stitching when i get to the cross stitching Maybe today or uh, today, tonight, I sit down and start five things. Who knows? That's me. Okay, so now let's go to the big one. This is a Temu uh, thing. I This is my second order, the first order. I didn't do a video because it was some um, Chinese New Year decoration that I bought. So um, I didn't do the video that one, but this is all sewing related. Um, but Temu has everything. It has, um, I'm staying away for the, for the scrapbooking stuff because I don't need no more scrapbooking. And these are things that I did for, for the, for the sewing, but I don't need, I don't need no, no scrapbooking stuff. So I'm staying away from the scrapbooking stuff. So the first thing that I bought is and this was so cheap this was let me see if i could get here Temu, so i could tell you what i paid for them because i don't think there is a sorry for all the crinkle but there's nothing i can do 
Uh, let me see if I could get into the Temu. Oh, there you go, right here. Um, let's go to my order. Uh, I don't. Okay, view order detail. Okay, so this was. I don't know why one cost me more than the other one, um, but this one was five ninety four for ten bags, which you get them in Amazon. I think it's twelve something for ten bags or a little more. So, and it's the same exact ones that I purchased from Amazon because I have bought. Sorry for the crinkle, guys. Um, I have bought like three sets from Amazon. So I bought this one and I saw an Etsy, they selling these bags, but they put vinyl, like cross stitch quotes or quotes in it. And they said one bag is the seller for 12, $15. So I have a cricket. So I am going to, one of these days, that will be a project. Not right now, but I am going to do uh, some to make them a little cuter and then put a sipping pool. So I bought two sets. So I bought 20. And then you get all the colors. And again, this is the sex, exact same ones that I use from Amazon. Perfect. They are the A4, I think. But one cut one cost me A49. I don't know why. And the other one cost me $5.94. That's a Temu thing. Temu, Timu, whatever you call that. You know who got me into this website? My mother. She's hooked with this thing. She hooks in this thing. So she got me into it. So I did a first small order to see, you know, how it was. And the good thing is like this. I did this order on February 10. Today is what? February 18. Eight days. I got everything. So yeah, so I got two packs of those bags. You know, because I'm running out. I don't have more bags. And I'm a low sour so so i got those happy uh let's move let's take all this thing out of here you're gonna hear a lot of crinkle because everything is in make sure i don't throw away nothing because i'm that crazy so that is that so i love that part that orange thing uh that's the other thing that i got was this brayer i do have a brayer i think um, but when I'm going to start doing my, um, diamond paintings again, that's why I bought that. So, um, you know, to secure the, the thing. So I got that. I got the, and I bought, let me give you prices so you could see how it is. This cost me, uh, $1.79. Free shipping for everything free shipping because aliexpress now you gotta pay this very little that you find free shipping for a dollar 79 free shipping and um, then i bought this bias tape makers and i paid i'm looking at my order three dollars and 89 cents for the four of them free shipping i never know how to i don't know how to do this but there's a lot of videos out there and um Elizabeth Ann can stitch. She has a video on it. So that's, I bought that. Oh, wow. I bought a rotary cutter. I, I have like two of them, but you never have enough of these things. I thought it was going to be smaller and look cheapy, but it doesn't look cheapy. So that is that. So it's a 45 minute. You never had enough of these things. You always need a whole bunch because I, lo I lose mines all over the place all the time. It's like I'm always losing them under the fabric and under the mess I make. I'm such a messy crafter. And every craft I do, I'm such a messy crafter. So that was that. And I pay, I think, $3, which you i've been wanting to buy a few more but they're so expensive i mean of course they're fiscal and all that stuff but they all do the same thing 
um it's one i paid 3.98 and then i pay let's see if i find them i know i bought some extra blades and they give you these things they give you giveaway i don't know how it works i gotta figure it out i know i bought a set of five replacement plates for a dollar 98 there's somewhere in here so that's a good buy because the fiscal ones is like forty dollars thirty dollars so i mean cheapy but i'm sure it does the work um then i bought this ruler that i bought it so it's easier i think it will be easier when i'm grinding to get my one my one inch and two inch um margin when i'm gonna do my grip my fabrics or for sewing or something and i pay <sighs> i paid 378 which i saw this in joan the cloth brand of course it's brand but it was like ten dollars so i got it uh two more for 378 um then i bought a whole bunch of bobbins and of course they're pink uh i bought three pack i think uh i'm looking yeah i bought no i'm supposed to have four where's the other one? Oh, there you go four here they are fifty dollars in i mean fifty dollars they are 50 piece in each so i bought 200 and that is so when i do this when i do this one when i don't use the joan um things so when i do this kind of uh a thing so um are you i will use this ones instead and they fit they fit perfect so i bought 200 of them i think that's enough and if i need to buy more i buy more and it only cost 54 dollars 79 which is not bad so i got four pieces of that and then these pens are um, advertised as heat erasable pens, and you get ten pens. You get the you get the the barrel of the pen right here, and then you get the refills. So you get ten refills and the barrel, and it was a dollar eighteen. So I bought the white one because for dark fabrics. And it's not white this is beige the white one got sold out when i was had it in my car it got sold out so for dollars dollar 18 i had 10. i'm gonna compare them with the friction and i will stack up on this if it erase as good as the friction so i will buy more of this to always have it because i use them for grip my fabric and i use it because like in this one i did quilting you see I did my first quilting so i did drew the lines so where i was going to quilt because i cannot do it without no drawing lines so um i used them for for that for green my my cross stitch and so i'm gonna try this one tonight and a piece of fabric and um i will do comparison with the friction to see if they erase as well as the friction and if they do i'm gonna get i'm gonna do another order and get them the only downsize that i found in timu it, well in my account because my mother says she doesn't have that restriction but i have a ten dollar minimum restriction only ten, i had to i cannot do an order like aliexpress if i see something for a dollar buy it now and that's it but with temu in my account i have a ten dollar subscription i don't know if that's something that will lift after you purchase for them my mother's been purchased for them since she find them out which was a long time ago so and she said she doesn't have that 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 restriction or maybe she doesn't realize that she's buying more than ten dollars right so but that's the only downside but then again ten dollars goes like that so okay let's see what is this so that was the pens I can't wait to try this pen and then 10 pens for eight dollars <coughs> oh i think these are the magnets i bought 
three sets of magnets. Ah, what's the magnets? Okay, I bought three sets of magnets. They're supposed to be... Uh, we'll see how small they are, but it's okay. Oh, that's perfect for... um. <clears throat> that's perfect for needle minders. And they are thin. They're not too thick. <clears throat> see? So those are perfect for needle minders. So I bought three sets because they are 50. So I bought 150 because I use two. I use one to glue it to the thing and then the other one to use it in the fabric. So I got three sets of those. And those are the same ones that I bought for Amazon. I bought this one from Amazon and they cost me more. They cost me, I think like $16. And Amazon, and it's the same. Let me show you. This is the one from Amazon. Say, no, this is a little thinner. But this one I bought them for for the mini album that I was doing. Uh, let's see. No, they are actually the same. Look, I glued it to that one. That's actually the same thing. Just a little thinner. Just a little thinner. But it, this one cost me like sixteen dollars in Amazon. And I bought those for that 314. When I get paid, I'm going to order at least three more sets. To always have them because I use them a lot. So ugh, everything is good. So I bought three sets of those, which is this right here. Yeah, they glue into themselves. So three sets of those magnets. Um, let's see, what is this? Oh, this one saw a sewing fit. This is to sew. Hopefully, it will fit my my sewing machine. But this one, you fit the you fit the the vice tape through it, so you will have an even. I mean, I'm buying everything that it could help me do straight stitches. So it will be an even fit, and it would sew evenly. So I will try this one tonight too when I do some sewing, if I do some bias tape. Then I bought this these things from the, we get them in Amazon. I bought the ones in Amazon, but the ones that I bought were very flimsy and it would not stay, it would not hold. But looking at this one, this one are small. So I don't know how well, I don't have a, a whip down here i move all my whips downstairs so so this ones look like they are so i mean i could always use two to to grab the fabric if it's a lot of fabric and they they stretch so um this one cost me very very cheap a dollar 98 for five so i bought two set for now to try them if i if if they work I will buy more when I order the magnet. I will order at least two or three more. I mean, a dollar ninety-eight for five can beat that, and free shipping can beat that. So that is that. Everything is getting magnet together. Um, this is just a a thread cutter. So when you sewing, you just grab it in. We have one, but it's already like um door. So I mean this one cost me a dollar sixty-nine cents. Not even a dollar. Sixty-nine cents, which I'm gonna order a few more. So this was really my first big order from Tomu, Tamu, Tumu, whatever you wanna call her. And I see myself putting another one soon. So I'm gonna buy a few more. This to have good to have around in my bags and stuff. Uh, then I bought these things. These are like guide things. So when you sewing and you know, when you, especially the bias tape or you're doing a corner that you got to put your finger all over right there and your needle could grab the finger. So 
so so that, these are little things to help you with that and also they are good for turning corners so it's two using one and i bought a pack which was 149 for five so to have in my sewing box that and let's see what else uh i bought these little beads because i saw some pool in etsy i'm always looking at etsy and getting ideas because i could make it so i just get the ideas from somebody else and i saw some um pool zippers they had they had work like stitch or whatever so i'm gonna make some of those with that and i do have another letters there but this was what a dollar dollar 19 for 200 beats not bad so i got that and then i got a whole bunch of things to make um sip oh i tried i bought this wax um b wax to condition the threads i never used that but it's good to have it in case you need it there's some threads they get kinky sometimes so i bought this one to use it and it only cost me if i find it i don't see it oh a dollar 98 for that so i got that um this is oh i bought three sets i thought i bought two i bought three sets so i have 15 i think that's good because i don't keep i don't keep my projects in the back in the hoop unless it's the one the primary ones so i don't think i need more than that um then i bought this 2023 charms because i put this to the little ones like little pillows that i finished so i bought i think it was 25 because i don't think i will make more than that um oh 20 i bought 20 pieces for a dollar 48 if i need more i could make an order because it gets here in eight days so 2023 so that's for the little pillows that i will finish this year so i bought that I bought this soft tape measurement just to have it and all I paid was all I paid was if I find it 69 cents for it too to measure so i got that let's move this quickly because it's a minute and I, if it goes more than an, an hour and a half it takes forever to do so then i bought these tassels just to make pull, super pulls out of it and i pay a dollar 18 for 20 tassels so i thought that was good for to make zipper pulls out of it and this is also for zipper pulls and i'm gonna put a charm to it and i pay i paid four dollars and 48 this was i think more, most the most expensive th th thing that i bought and you get 50. so um you could put it as a zipper pull and then you add a little charm dangler from here so i will make some of those um this is just a pin so i could make a little minder out of it so i'm gonna move a little quicker so that says maker um this is another one so i could do a floss a floss thingy um where you hang the floss out of here if it's a small one it's butterfly so i bought that one the thing that i'm impressed is the the oh these are the 
the blades for the thing. I bought this Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. So, and I am doing, I'm going to purchase the Mirabilia Scorpio one. So, I, and this is for that sign. Uh, then I bought this one for, to do a floss thread, maybe for the, um, or I put it in the carpet that I do for the Miss B, Miss B Queen. So it's for that. So I don't know how to do it for now, but that was for that um, pattern. So I got, I either put it in the bag as a pool or so um, super pool or something. Again, these are things to do um, either super pools or floss threads. Love it. So we'll see what I do with that. Um, this is to convert as a needle minder for the bee queen um, pattern. I had the fabric already, which I'm going to start working on that back today. So that is that. So I will convert that as a needle minder. Uh, I bought a whole bunch of charms to either use as a super pool or whatever and the things and they are sewing related so this one is like knitting tape measurement a sewing machine we got like glasses yarn needles yeah so i got a whole bunch of those and i pay 218 for 25 charms sewing charms so that is that so 25 charms for um, this is another one that is for uh, either a floss, floss trick, floss keeper, floss track keepers, or I could convert it into a needle minder. We will see. We'll see what I do with it. I'll put it as a super pool and uh, some flower, and that's some flower bag. That some flower bag is for the pattern that I bought last week for the girl in the sunflower field. Again. Butterflies for either for pool, uh, butterfly charms, either for super pool, trippers, charms, whatever. I don't know. Then I bought this one also. And then this one is kind of small, real tiny. This one is this one. I mean, it's a the chinese just do this a lot which means i love you so i bought that and that was a dollar uh okay the butterflies i'm trying to go quick because i don't want to make it more than an hour and a half the butterfly was 16 pieces for three dollars 298 the the sewing charms were well as they said that 25 for 218 um, this one, yeah, the line yard was the most, oh, there was two things that I bought for $4. Everything else is, it was cheap. Uh, the maker was 88 cents. This one was 98 cents. The B, the little B was, I don't see it here. I don't know where it went. The B was 89 cents. And these four pieces was um three pieces glass piece glass pieces was a dollar eighty a oh the B was eighty nine cents um yeah so the last thing is oh I had this one this is another one um butterflies this one cost me. 71 cents and the one that i bought that was a b was a dollar 48 
I mean, everything is so affordable, so affordable that you keep adding enough in free shipping and then you get it in, in eight days. And this one was a dollar forty eight. It's again, it's another thing. And then I bought this big butterfly one. And it was a dollar forty eight. Beautiful. It's a little big, but it's beautiful. I love it. I think I will use this so when I use the this floss keepers, I want to use them so when I use my Victoria model or color cutting uh, thing, so I could put them there. And then I bought this set, which cost me. It was four four, four dollars and four cents. Yeah, they all, no. I bought three things. There was two things four dollars and one thing six dollars. This one is a a key ring kit. It brings thirty six pieces, and it cost me four dollars and four cents. It brings the acrylic, so I could glue any image to the back of this and decoupage it, and or we use um, glossy accent. This is the same thing that uh, we do with Tim Hall's um, things. So it has the plastic on it, so we gotta remove the plastic so it could be transparent. And then I could glue with, um, any we glossy accent or decoupage or um what's the other one uh i forgot mosh patch any image in the back and i, I do so i have i have the the blanks so it brings 36 pieces i have the blanks so i could create anything i want i have the tassels to add to it and then i have the ring the key ring thing I thought that was good. And here you get the instruction. You see, you gotta remove, I could write on it, but I will print images and put it there. I could even do vinyl, um, reverse the vinyl, right? And then put match patch at the back, and the, not match patch, yeah, match patch at the back or glossy accent to seal it. A lot of idea, not a time, no time to do them, but it's in my stash, I will do it when, whenever i can and um then i got i bought these things dividers i always use this for divide things and to mark things and this one was a uh, um 10 piece of paper brings 120 um tabs for a dollar 49 can't beat that and oh this is for the the jump ring for these things put it here And I have another, this is the quarter inch um, feet. Hopefully it, it fits in my, and again, all I paid was like a dollar. Like that one, the bias tape, the bias one cost me, ooh, I want to finish. The bias one cost me two dollars and eight cents, which if I'm going to go buy it and Joanne, it cost me like 14, 20 dollars. This one, the quarter age, which I bought it from Joanne, I paid $17 for it. I saw it here, the sex sign one, hopefully it will fit my machine. But if it does, the one from Joanne, it would, it was, the needle will hit the plate. For more that I play with it, it was in salt, so I return it. And then I saw it here and I bought it for a dollar eight. If it doesn't work, I didn't lose much, a dollar eight. And then this other one that is also for, to help you to guide you to have a straight seam allowance is this one right here i'm gonna try all these feeds today um and uh, and you still could return to tamu i don't know how you could return i will have to read because they ship from illinois so so i think i could return there, there's a 90 day guarantee of return so and this one cost me a dollar 48 again this is a low uh guys sewing yeah the guy one so that's and the last thing that i mean i didn't know it was gonna be this big i mean it's humongous it's i'm trying this is like the nerd hoops for the non nerd but look how big this is a number four all i paid was six dollars for this oh my god i'm gonna try this 
and if i like it i'm gonna buy them all sizes from them because this is the biggest one and all i paid was six dollars for it they're supposed to give you a very good i mean the, the original the nerd ones but they are prices i mean i had this one in, in my amazon car for the number four they have the number of course it doesn't have the same name but it's the same exact thing as the nerd is the number four like they like they think it cost me 27 dollars through amazon buying the nerd one so i'm gonna try this one and see how i like it if i don't like it all i pay was six dollars for it i don't know i gotta look into the return um the return policy to see but girl all this all that and all i paid was a hundred a hundred and ten dollars because of taxes and i could use paypal for like i could pay in four payments i don't have to pay it all right there the paypal for is my first best friend and um after pay I don't shop if I cannot pay for four or after pay now on for now on. I've, it's been a while like that. If I cannot pay for four or I use after pay for it, I don't buy it. So yeah, a hundred and ten dollars for all this, and I don't have to pay it on front. I pay little by little. Every every payday, I pay a little bit. Can't beat that. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I have not been cross stitching, but I'm sure been shopping. So I needed to put all this stuff away and um and get going. I don't know when I come back. Whenever I have something to show you guys, I'll come back. So make sure you hit that uh, bell um button so it notifies you when I'm back. I'm taking like I'm taking this hobby light. I'm not stressing myself. My channel is not monetized, so I don't make money out of face out of YouTube. I do it because I like it. So there's no stress here. Whenever I have something to show, I come and show my face and show it to you. So in the meantime, use, um, I'm going to keep shopping and I'm going to keep sewing and I might do five stars soon. So we'll see. Um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching and until next time. Bye now.